a few days ago, I was scrolling through my phone and I came across an email from Michaels introducing their house brand vinyl. Well, that deserves a road trip. By road trip, I just mean I just drove to Michaels. I'm Anna and I'm reviewing the Make Market Vinyl by Michaels. And this isn't sponsored, so it's just what I really think. There are four questions that I want to answer. One, how does it look and feel, especially compared to other brands? Two, how does it cut and weed? Number three, how does it stick to different surfaces? And number four, how durable is it? At my local Michaels, there's only one end bay dedicated to the Make Market vinyl, so the color selection is much smaller than other brands. There wasn't any color changing vinyl or holographic in stock. But there were a few glitter options, glow in the dark, and transfer tape. Glossy only comes in black and white. When I compared similar colors of the Make Market vinyl to Oracle, Make Market is a bit more muted. For pricing, Make Market is $9.99 for a regular color roll. Cricut is $11.99. And Oracle is also $11.99. All the rolls of the different brands are the same size, 12 by 48 inches. For my comparison, I have the Michaels brand in like a light brown, which is called hazelnut. This is the one from the Dollar Tree and it's a tealish color. And then my Sizer or Caesar, or I don't really know how it's pronounced, but I say Sizer because that's just how it looks. Well, this one is in yellow and this is my typical go-to. So we're gonna see how they all compare. So first I'm just gonna quickly open them up. Here's my first thoughts, but first I do have to say that the only one that is a glossy finish is the one from the Dollar Tree. If I compare the sheen or the shininess between the two that are supposed to be matte, I would definitely say that the Sizer one does have more of a matte finish. This is more of like a sateen. There's just, there is a more sheen to it. I wouldn't say it's totally a matte finish, which is fine. It's just something I noticed. Also, the Michaels one feels very thin compared to say the Sizer. And then the backings are all completely different. The one from Michaels, it's like more of a vinyl backing, whereas the Sizer feels more like paper. And then the one from Dollar Tree definitely just is paper. That definitely feels like paper. But this one has like a, that's probably the most interesting thing. And the grids are smaller. So they're like maybe half inch compared to what the Sizer is like a full inch square. So that's different. And now I'm going to try peeling them to see what they really look like. I gave up on that. I'll just see what the vinyl feels like when I weed it, which is a great segue to question number two. How does it cut and weed? I've cut a piece from each of the three vinyls. By sticking them next to each other on a mat, I can cut out one image from all three at the same time. I'm gonna wait now and see what I think, but I do wanna mention that the vinyl from the Dollar Tree is the only one that tore while it's being cut. My thoughts, I made myself some notes. The Michaels vinyl was the toughest to weed. It just is harder to separate from its backing. It's even harder just to pick up, but it cuts fine, like smooth edges and all. Of the three, it feels the stickiest, like the backing feels the stickiest. The Sizer one, or Caesar, it is the stiffest. It just feels stiffer, but the Michaels one feels like it's better quality vinyl than say like the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree feels more plasticky. Between the two of these, I, they both feel like they're pretty decent quality. This one's just stiffer. Overall, the Michaels Make It one is stickier and softer. The thickness between all three is the same. So it's just really the backing that made the sizer feel thicker. And of the three, 
the Michaels is the thinnest, has the thinnest backing. But like the actual vinyl, they're all pretty much the same, it feels to me. I don't have like a special measuring tool, it just feels that way. I've cut out some more vinyl to transfer onto glass, plastic, and wood. And to make the test fair, I'll be using the same transfer tape. And then I'll share my thoughts. Wood. I started off with a piece of Dollar Tree clear shelf liner, but the make market vinyl wouldn't stick to it at all. I then switched to a brand new piece of Cricut transfer paper, and I still had to lift the letters off with my fingers to get it to stick. I thought that meant that the vinyl would stick great to the wood, but it didn't. As I was smoothing it out, I lifted and ruined a couple of the letters. And the Dollar Tree vinyl didn't stick really great either. Glass. Learning from experience, I rubbed the transfer a lot with my handy plastic tool. It's actually really good. One end is just plastic, but the other is covered with a soft, fuzzy fabric. I think we got this with a window decal order from Vistaprint. But this didn't do the trick. So I used my fingernail with a lot of pressure and that worked out all right. The Michaels vinyl stuck well to the glass and I purposely wanted to try layers to see if it would lift at all and it didn't. So it layers well, great. What a difference though in transferring the pink salt and pepper shakers. That's Oracle 651 and it immediately grabs onto the transfer paper, unlike the Michaels one. Plastic. Okay, at this point I know it's not going to stick to the transfer paper well, but it does stick to plastic really nicely. What I wanted to see here is how the vinyl does on curved surfaces. And I give it a 10 out of 10 for this. I could smooth out the bubbles and humps with just my finger. I didn't need to apply heat. Even the letter E that I crumpled in the transfer could be smoothed out. On curved surfaces, you can get a really smooth result. And I think that's because, like I said before, the Michaels vinyl is like softer, it's more flexible. And I think that gives it an advantage on any curves. I want to quickly talk about what I think is the best part of the Michaels vinyl, the backing. I said before, it's not paper like other brands, it's some sort of vinyl or plastic and it sticks to the cutting mat like a magnet and lays completely flat. And because it's not paper, it peels off clean. I think this type of a backing should be an industry standard. Now onto durability. To make the test fair, I am going to allow the adhesive to bond for a day. Then I'm going to take the glass and the plastic and soak it in water. As for the wood, I'm going to leave it outside for a while, like in the sun and the rain, and then I'll share the results. How did my not so scientific durability tests go? Well, the vinyl held up great. I soak these for 24 hours and then scrub them with soap and a dish sponge and the vinyl didn't lift at all. The sign I left outside in the elements for three weeks. We had storms like thunderstorms, record high temperatures and even tornado warnings and the unsealed wood, it warped a bit and kind of discolored, but all three brands of the vinyl just stuck on. Pretty good. In conclusion, what do I think about Michael's Make It Vinyl? In short, the few dollars you save don't make up for the hassle of working with it. I want my vinyl to be easy to weed and easy to transfer, and this is just a little too finicky. Now, it is significantly better than the Dollar Tree vinyl, but that stuff costs like $1.50 Canadian. So I'll be sticking to my usual Oracle incisor, Caesar, Scissor, I don't know how to say it, S-I-S-E-R, that one. Those are the ones I'm gonna be sticking with. But that backing, if that became the standard for all brands, then our mats would last longer and they would stay cleaner. So the other brands need to jump on board. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it, and if you haven't already, I'd love it if you'd subscribe. Thanks so much, and I'll see you soon with another project. Bye! There are four... No, this is three. I need four. What do I think about the make it, make it, mark, make it, mark? In conclusion, what do I think about the Michael... In conclusion, what do I think about Michael's... How did my... Oh, my jars are running away. Oh, yeah. That, I, was getting, I was getting my points across, sort of.